absolutely. No, the, uh, uh, and so uh, we, we see upskilling and uh, cross-skilling uh, becoming more transdisciplinary, so uh, business people are becoming IT folks now, and IT folks are becoming business people. You know, we've had this business IT divide for a long time. It cracks me up. I still go to big companies, and the IT department's usually in its own building, right? But those days are going away, and now, see, you know, now there's IT people over on the business side that live there now, right? You know, so we're seeing this kind of this blending where digital is infusing everything, and so you have to become digitally competent. Uh, and this is where we have to make that simpler. This is go going back to the, you know, the, uh, the digital workplace. Uh, the, the average user has had the number of applications they have to, uh, uh, to learn double or triple in the la just the last five years, right? So it's a big challenge. Yeah, well, you know, when we ran our first customer conference, our first Engage, really three years ago, in, in Bellevue at, at a conference center attached to a, a hotel that's right next to our headquarters, which is so super convenient, and I think we had, Five, seven hundred people there, and it was it was a great start. Um, and then last year we doubled in size, and we actually outgrew the facility in Bellevue. Uh, and so when we planned for this year, we said, you know, let's go big. Let's, you know, we, we felt this momentum building. We had such great feedback from customers on what they learned and what they came away and could do after coming to Engage uh, that we felt we could we were ready to kind of take it to a big stage. And so it was really exciting. I spent, um, before joining Smartsheet two and a half years ago, I spent five years at Amazon Web Services. And I was fortunate enough to be there when they did their first reInvent in Las Vegas. And it was roughly 5,000 people. And I had a very interesting deja vu moment walking into the uh, main auditorium here yesterday. Uh, and, and it just brought back all the memories of, oh my gosh, this is like the size of reInvent. So, in three years, we should be roughly 25,000. We'll be in <laughs> Vegas, it'll be yeah. awesome. But we see a lot of interesting new technology trends and tooling that are allowing people to basically operationalize work in the seams between those legacy systems. So lifting some of the data information and potentially workflow workload out of those systems and having them in a, you know, some of the new types of work platform that we're seeing, you know, of which Smartsheet's a good example, to actually operate in a much more agile way. And we call that shift one from systems of record, which we kind of understand, to what we call systems of delivery. Um, so that, to us, will have a big gravitational effect on the way the rest of the business application landscape will evolve. So didn't the IT we know that the situation is pretty bleak right now, that there are, the, the statistics are, are horrible just in terms of the number of employees that are really checked out, totally disengaged, would, would love to quit, but they need the health insurance. And so, so we're already sort of starting from a, from a pretty low place where in terms of people's engagement at work. And I think a lot of the things that, that drive people nuts about their work uh, of course, it's a bad boss and not a great parking spot and everything. But it's it's the it's the <laughs> it's the little things that get in your way of doing your job, and it's it's the things that just drive you nuts about some sort of process that takes forever. And oh, I have to keep doing this, and I just already sent you that email, and how come you're looking at this other version? Well, and it, and it's all those impediments that really drive people crazy, and that make people stressed out and and unhappy in their jobs. So I do think that if you are a company like Smartsheet and you have, you realize this, and you can slowly chip away at those impediments and the aggrav aggrav aggravations that people feel, I think that's not a bad business model. Right, I, right. I, think, I think they're onto something right. here. Yeah, the Achievements One Alliance is really figuring out how to take the cultural changes that are in flight right now and marrying those with the people and the technology. And we think that it's important as things like concepts that are intimidating people, AI and ML, worker replacement, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. These are things where we actually think technology and people should work together as opposed to being a replacement for. And I think there's a lot of education that needs to take place. So what we plan on doing is doing research through this alliance and then publishing that work. Because I think a huge part of this is educating the market and giving them confidence to take that step. You know, it was, it was interesting. When I first um, got the call about Smartsheet, I, you know, I had never heard of it. And the way that it was positioned to me was super intriguing. I realized it was one of those, a category that's just not established, but a category that has the potential to be the next big thing. And, uh, or not even the potential, I mean, it will be the next big thing. And, um, uh, you know, I met with, um, so that, that was intriguing, but then I, you know, I met with the executive team, and it was a 
perfect combination of you know, a killer product, uh, a, a, but a killer company. The, I can't tell you how special the leadership of this company is and their authenticity and their passion and their drive and their belief. It's so contagious. There's no way you would not want to be a part of it. So, um, uh, and then the privilege to be able to tell this company's story. I feel like it is the best kept story, not only in Seattle, potentially the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I plan to tell the story. And, and what a gift, what a, what a great opportunity as a marketer to have this type of opportunity.